What's up, everyone? Welcome back. All right, so the next E4 member is awaiting my challenge. So, yeah. I don't remember who it is, though. Oh, okay, I do vaguely remember this bitch. Yeah, okay. This is gonna be ice type. Let me think. Ice, ice. Huh. Ice type. Who do I want to lead with for an ice type? Maybe actually, you know what? As fucking stupid as it sounds, I might lead with Lunatone. Rock type moves are actually super effective against that shit. So unless she leads with like a Celo or something, Lunatone might have a decent shot. Plus I do want to gain Lunatone a little more experience. Same thing with cast form. If she sends out a Pokemon that is just ice type without a dual water typing, cast form's gonna do some sunny day action, I have a feeling. And again, if all else fails, I got Blaziken. Count on Blaziken and Kyogre. So, we're all good. You know what? We're all good up in this bitch. We're gonna lead with Lunatone, see how it goes just for motherfucking shits and giggles and... Fuck it. Let's throw some caution to the wind, motherfuckers. We're doing it. Alright, here goes. Glacia. Glacia, whatever, shut up. Don't care. Ooh, this was a bad choice. <laughs> well, you know what they say, some kind of shit about hindsight being 2020, right? <laughs> yeah, because Glally's a fucking dark type, so... Yeah, that's cool. I'll just go fuck myself. Hey, let's lead with Lunatone. That'll be fun. <laughs> Whoops, just kidding. Dumbass. Alright. Huh. Are ground type moves super effective against... Nah, he might have Levitate, though. Or she. Whatever. I just misgendered that thing. Son of a bitch. Alright, fuck it. Not quite enough to get it done. Hmm. Alright. In that case, maybe my sunny day strategy wouldn't really work against these guys. Shit, and I was really hoping to get cast form some frickin' experience, too. Yeah, she's gonna drop a potion. So, unfortunately, I'm gonna get a little extra hail damage. I wouldn't even be surprised if she drops a second potion on this Glally. Nope. Alright. Fine by me. They each gain a grand. Not bad. CeeLo. Yeah, we're gonna switch out. We're going with the uh, Kyogre strategy. Because <laughs> ironically, Kyogre is a fucking beast against water types. Because Kyogre, for some reason, can learn Thunder. Well, it's probably because Kyogre makes everything rain and storm and shit. So I guess it kind of makes sense. And I ain't bitching. Because it's a awesome freaking strategy. Although CeeLo's pretty bulky, so I'm not sure that this will be a one-hit kill. Yeah, fucking close as shit, but no dice. Yeah, so they're just going to keep changing the weather. So that whole cast form... Sun form strategy probably won't work. Ah, and they actually killed my strategy of the rain thing. I'll just have to hope that thunder hits. It does! Ha ha! 
I actually probably could have killed it with Surf, honestly. At that point. Um... You know what? Actually, Mighty Enna, maybe. Might have a shot at this. Oh, actually, that was a really dumb move. I just figured since it's hailing... Ugh, crap. Yeah, actually, this might have been a really stupid move. Only time will tell, though, of course, but we'll see. Come on, lower defense. Okay, good. At least we got that going. Figure if I can lower its defense enough, then we'll be alright. Although it does know Blizzard, and that is very disconcerting. Okay, good. Very good. Yeah, I better be careful. Mm, this is going to be close. Uh, let's do it. Come on, motherfucker. Ah! Oh, damn it! Double damn it! Fuck me in the ass. Yeah. Oh, wow, they got a crit hit. Okay. Yeah, that was just bad luck. What are you gonna do, right? Give it a shot. Um, I don't know if that thing actually has any water type attacks. If that thing doesn't have any water type attacks, maybe just for the fucking hell of it. Ha <laughs> ha! Right as the hail stopped. All right. Eat rocks, bitch. <laughs> I just rocked her world. <laughs> oh, I've been waiting all playthrough to use that one. <laughs> oh, nice. All right, so Lunatone comes through in the clutch, getting the kill there. All right, Glally. Yeah, let's switch you out. Um, yeah, shift out the blaze again. Damn, so fucking close. No dice. Hmm. Okay, okay. I'm faster, though, so it ain't gonna matter. Basically, just wasted a turn. You're only prolonging the inevitable at this point. The inevitability of Blaziken kicking some ass. Damn, 2,000 XP. Walrine. Yeah, we're gonna go for... Ooh, what if that thing automatically whips up a blizzard? It might be one of those Pokemon that automatically whips up a blizzard. Which will probably end up overriding Kyogre's ability. We're gonna try it anyway. We'll see what happens. Worst case scenario, I just gotta hope that thunder hits. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, there's no way I'm getting a one-hit kill on this thing. I don't care how good Kyogre is, there's no fucking way this is gonna be a one-hit kill. Still did a pretty damn good amount. Ooh! <laughs> and she ain't got shit left for potions. 
All right, we are in business, folks. What the fuck? Oh, okay, just that. All right. <laughs> ah! All right, Kyogre, bring it on home. Hell yeah! That's what I'm talking about. But yeah, now I am actually extremely worried that my Pokemon might be very underleveled. I should have leveled them all up to level 50 before we started this, but whatever. Oh, well, you did faint one of my Pokemon, so I'll give you credit there. Oh, great. Not looking forward to that shit, but whatever. Alright, um... Alright, so yeah, Mighty Enna needs some revive action. Alright, I'm going to need about three potions here. I'm actually not going through them as quickly as I expected. Because despite the fact that I'm underleveled, I'm actually doing better than I anticipated. Like, I expected these battles to be honestly much tougher than they have been so far. And they've had their tough spots so far, but honestly, I've been kicking more ass than I expected to. <laughs> so, yeah. I guess just to be on the safe side, I'll lead with Kyogre, because I don't know what to expect heading into this shit, so we'll lead with Kyogre. Once I get into the room, maybe I'll be able to figure out what type this next Elite Four member will be, because again, I don't remember offhand who it is, but either way, we're going to find out. But we will find out next time. So, folks, the last member of the Elite Four. We're going to be battling them next time. Stay tuned. We'll see how it goes. And, uh, yeah, till then, peace out.